Hey guys, this is Esters from Team ACR, and today I'm going to show you how to set up the pre-alpha map pack, as well as getting the game started, and hosting your own LAN or VLAN server. So, let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is run your setup. Now, when you get to this part, what this is pretty much saying is make sure you go, um, you set your installation to your default cry engine directory like mine is c colon slash cry engine um, so once you do that just go through and hit next and it will install and as you can see it's installing uh, to the game sdk folder now, there's already a folder like that in your cry engine folder um, once you have it installed uh, but what this is doing is it's overwriting certain files and adding our files so go ahead and finish, and then what you want to do then is go in to your CryEngine 3 directory, or your CryEngine directory, um, and let's see, yeah, see mine, yeah, that's right. Okay, so as you can see, these are the files that are added. Um, I actually have mine set up as CryEngine 3 and not CryEngine. Uh, apparently so I'll just cut this and I'm going to just paste and overwrite everything so this is a good this is a good um, time to show you that if for some reason you do install this uh, somewhere where you don't want it you can just go in take the game SDK folder and you can cut it and paste it right into your cryengine directory okay so let me go ahead and delete this real quick okay so now that you are inside your cryengine 3 directory or cryengine however you have it set up then you have it installed um, you can launch the game by going into your bin32 or bin64 folder, uh, whichever version you want to run. Uh, I prefer the 60, the 64-bit version. So I will go in and I will find game SDK. I already have the game SDK running, so let me go ahead and bring that up. Uh, there we go. Okay, so while you're in the game SDK you can go into single player and you should be able to see both maps uh, you can run them as single player if you want to just go in and run around um, there's also the multiplayer and I do not suggest hosting a server from client we've been having a lot of problems uh, it may work uh, if you want to try but we don't suggest it um, so what you will do though is when you join a game uh, you will go in and name yourself here uh, make sure that the lobby type is LAN and then you will click search and over here there will be uh, a server list um, for your LAN or VLAN, your virtual LAN uh, using things like Tungle or Hamachi um, so let's go ahead and talk about that. Um, when you bring up your dedicated server, it will look like this. Um, it will scroll through a bunch of stuff. Actually, let me show you where to find that. Okay, so. Um, in order to find that, what you want to do is go back and you see where it says bin32 dedicated or 64 dedicated. Those are the types of servers that you have. Um, I like to go with the bin64. So you just go in and you run dedicated server SDK and it will bring it up. Okay, so once you are in the dedicated server uh, program, what you want to do is choose the map. So we want to run, let's say we want to run boot camp. So we're going to type map boot underscore camp. And you'll see that um, 
that it shows multiplayer, boot camp, rules, team instant action. Now, team instant action is the only mode that we currently have um, for this map pack. It's default with CryEngine. It doesn't work like a normal map pack, or it doesn't work like a normal team deathmatch. Um, essentially, when you get in, you will be able to uh, shoot each other up. Um, as many times as you want, the round will not end, and there is no scoreboard. But it gives you a chance to play um, and, you know, test out the map. Uh, you will find a lot of glitches and spots where you can't get, uh, which we will be fixing in the future. But uh, that's besides the point. Okay, so now that we have map, um, in order to go in and actually start the match... See, when you start... Um, when you start a map, here, let me show you this. When you go in, you will go to join server and search. And as you can see, um, there is my server right here um, that I've got brought up. So I will click that and hit join. And it will go to a lobby. And you may see other people, you may not. Um, it's not guaranteed that you will see uh, other people, even though they are already in the map. Um, just another glitch uh, that we're trying to figure out. But once we get in, you will see that everything is kind of black and white and grayscaled. And there's a reason for this. So. As you can see, everything is black, white, grayscaled, right? Okay, so the way that we're going to fix this is this is actually the um, this is actually the uh, pre-match. Um, so like it, it hasn't even started yet. Like you could have you could have up to four people in it right now, and the match won't actually start. Um, the reason for that is because of the pre-match. So what you want to do then is you want to go into your server. Let's see. There we go. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to go into your server and you want to type this command. G underscore min. Um, type all that in lowercase and then the rest of the words are going to be capitalized um, at the beginning. So players for ranked game. Okay, and then you will put in the number of players minimum in order to start the match. Since I'm in right now um, by myself, I will hit one. And then you will see that everything goes into color. Okay, so there's that. So, um, just to show you one more time, um, to, to show you that it actually works, I'm going to exit the game and show you how this works. Okay, so I'm going to go into multiplayer. I'm going to go join server. Search. And I will join. And then when I get in, you will see the grayscale pre match. And then after a few seconds, um, it will put me into the actual uh, game type. Um, everything will go to color. And then, once we get in, I will show you how to... Oh, okay, well, either way, um, if people are already in the match, and then it winds up... Uh, and it winds up um, starting the match, uh, if people are already in, what happens is everyone resets to spawn point, and then it goes from grayscale to color. Like, you'll see all the color come in. Okay, so... I guess from here, what we will do is we will, uh, I will go ahead and show you how to get rid of the uh, debug information that is located uh, in the upper right hand corner. 
Um, no, I don't want to exit. Okay, in order to do that, you want to hit your tilde key. All right. And then you will type in r underscore uh, display info space zero. And you will notice that the debug information is now gone. Um, that makes for a much cleaner screen, uh, much better experience. And then I know some of you have been asking for us to remove the motion blur, which some people like it and a lot of you don't. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to get rid of that as well. So the command for that is just r underscore motion blur space zero. And now, no more motion blur. And that pretty much does it. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below and we will try to answer as best as possible. Um, now, before any of you start jumping on the bandwagon for, oh, please change the HUD, and I don't like this, it looks like Warface or Crisis. Um, remember, we are still working on things. Uh, everything will be back to regular Arctic combat style uh, upon final release. Um, so please do not worry about that. As of right now, this is just a map pack. This is just a means for you to be able to go in, take a look around, uh, notice some, you know, find glitch spots if you want, um, and then let us know if you find any um, by doing a video response or just, you know, telling us in the comments. Um, we are going to be fixing everything uh you know, in the end, um, but yeah, so we hope that you enjoy the map pack, and we will catch you later. Thanks a lot, guys.